Hey guys, Nick here. So today we're going to be taking a look at the 2025 Honda CRF 110F. So it's been about two years since I made a video on the 110 from Honda, and that's because it's been two years since Honda has done an update, which is usually how I go about with these videos. When Honda or Yamaha does a new update to their bikes is when I'll produce a video. If they make no new changes for the new model year, then there is no point in me filming and making a video on that unit. Now, when it comes to the 110s though, there really isn't too much for Honda to update as these have been fuel injected and they've been really proven drivetrains and fuel injection systems where they haven't had any flaws. But what Honda likes to do every couple of years is change it up, give us a new graphics package, which goes along with their R race models, which is primarily where all the big updates and changes go into. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any Yamaha 110s to do a video on to compare with this bike here today, but I did do that two years ago, and Yamaha hasn't done any changes. The graphics haven't even changed, I believe. I believe they are the same as they were two years ago, unless they did update them for 2025. But we're here to focus on the CRF, so let's talk a little bit about this bike. Now, you do get two color choices with the CRF still from last year. You got the traditional Honda Red here, but with the new updated graphics, which is mainly just the CRF sticker on that front fender. But as well, you also get a white color option, which is primarily all white plastics, but with a mint green seat and mint green graphics to go along with it. These, of course, are the same price, but has a base MSRP of $26.99, and then you have a destination charge of $300. So you're looking at an out-the-door price of $29.99. Now you can use my trusted Honda dealer, which is Jaff Motors, located in Glenville, New York. All of their info on screen and as well down below. So be sure to check them out if you're interested in picking one of these up or any of Honda's products. Now with that all being said, let's get up close and show you around the bike. Now there's a few different audiences that really favor this bike. One primarily is elementary and middle schoolers wanting to ride, get out, and start to learn. Jumping up from the 50 to now a fuel injected bike with a four speed transmission. And the second audience is for it to be a pit bike for adults that want to have a little bike to bomb around in and try to stay a little bit out of trouble but have a good time. Now to go with that, this does have a one gallon fuel tank. As I said before, it is fuel injected, so there's no carbs, there's no chokes, and there's no fuel shutoffs to deal with on this bike. You just throw fuel in it and you're basically ready to go. On top of that, this is paired up to a four-speed semi-automatic transmission, which means there's no clutch to learn and deal with on this bike. Now, if you do want a clutch, Honda does make two different models to the 125. They make a big wheel and a small wheel. The small wheel isn't too much bigger of a jump from the 110. So if you want something with a clutch, you can look at that bike. So that's a nice little option from Honda. But really, on this bike, in the way it's designed, it's really not meant for it to have a clutch, and it's just a really fun bike without it. Now, you still do get that traditional backup kickstart on this. It will run if the battery is dead. With that backup kickstart, of course, just make sure you have the key on in the bike. Now, a couple of things to see on this right side of the motor is your backup kickstart, like I mentioned to you before. So you slide that out, and you can kick it right down, and tucks away, of course. You got a rear brake right there, and your front brake right on the handlebar. Really not too much else to see. Fuel fill, and then you have a drain, which is that bolt right down there, which, of course, is blocked off. No oil filters on these, so just try to do routine maintenance to change new oil and run the Honda oils in these. You got drum brakes front and rear. Now when it comes to the other side of the bike, there isn't too much to see here. Under that red fender right there, it's going to be the location of your battery. It's an 8 mil boat there, 8 mil up top there by the seat, and then you kind of pull the cover off, and it'll be all right there. Of course, your shifter right there, all the way down is neutral and four up for your gears. So neutral sits all the way at the bottom. It's not between first and second like larger bikes. Now when you're sitting on the bike, there isn't too much to see here. It's very simple, but you have two keys. So make sure you file one of your secondary keys with your books in case you ever lose the first. There's a key number on there. So you can go to a locksmith and get another duplicate if you ever lose one. When you turn the key on, you hear the fuel pump prime, the orange light comes on for your fuel, and then that'll sh go away. And then when you start it, it'll probably come on, or it'll stay on if it needs fuel. So that's kind of nice. It works as like a reserve. 
kind of tells you, hey, your fuel's getting low, of course. There is no reserve in this tank, though. You have emergency kill on the right side. Your ignition for your start. You even have a check engine light for this. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy, found it useful, pretty quick and brief video, but there isn't too much to cover on these 110s. Now, if you do have any further questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below in the comments. Give the video a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you are new to see more of these videos. I'll see you all in the next one.